Hello, I'm Damien with Damien's Outdoors. Today I come to you from my study doing something a little different that I haven't done before. And it's to answer one of my viewers' questions about what happens to these vessels that I explore. Florida has what is called a uh, abandoned and derelict vessel program, otherwise known as ADV. It's a program that's managed by the Florida Wildlife Conservation uh, Commission, FWC, and it provides coordination with the removal of these vessels. Um, the program also includes legislation and procedures for addressing the removal of these derelict vessels from Florida state waters. Uh, Florida state statute uh, 376.15 allows the FWC to set up a program basically providing grants for the removal of these vessels from public waters. Funds for this derelict vessel removal grant program are appropriated from the Florida Coastal Protection Trust Fund and grants from this fund are awarded based on a set of criteria. One of those criteria is only local governments in Florida are eligible for the grant program. Private citizens or corporations are not eligible, unfortunately, and they must pay for the removal or relocation if the vessel is located on private property. Funding for the grant program is not guaranteed and it must be appropriated through state budget processes. Um, the ADV program is legislated through Florida state statutes, obviously. Uh, two of those statutes, uh, one of them I've already mentioned, the other one is 823.11. Um, what's important to know is the legislation makes it unlawful for any person, firm, or corporation to store, leave, or abandon any derelict vessel in the state. It authorizes authorizes and empowers the FWC, its officers or any law enforcement agency or officer to relocate, remove, or cause the removal or relocation of any derelict vessel in the state. FWC's Division of Law Enforcement is also directed under General Order 21 to remove any abandoned or derelict vessel from public waters that is a hazard to navigation, a threat to the environment, or a public safety issue. Under state statute 823.11, the owner of a derelict vessel is liable for all costs arising out of the relocation or removal of the vessel from state waters. I hope that this little bit of information will kind of give my viewers who are interested in these abandoned and derelict vessels a little more insight into what goes on with them and what happens. Um, obviously, it's a long process, costly process, and unfortunate process for many. Um, but definitely, being a boater, it's they're definitely... Uh, um, uh, hazard to navigation, uh, more importantly, they're a threat to the environment. Many of them still have uh, oil and fuel in them. Uh, the first uh, ship that I explored, the 64-footer, the um, you could smell the diesel coming out of it uh, or in it uh, from 50 yards away. It had that much fuel still fuel and oil still in it um, and it's still sitting there in the water so obvious obvious threat to the environment and public safety um, you know <laughs> I take it upon myself to uh, to explore these but it, you know that's without inherent risk that come with that I hope that answered some of your questions and uh, if you like these type of videos Please let me know in the comments. I would be happy to uh, 
uh, do more like this, look up more information and share it with y'all because I find this, um, I find these abandoned vessels uh, intriguing. I always wonder what the backstory of them are and um, I like looking up the information. So if you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Until next time.